What's up guys? Welcome to episode 4 of Wood Welcome to episode 4 of wood bending and making a multi-use piece of furniture. This week has been a great week for progress. We've made a new jig that's much easier to use. We've made multiple uh, almost full prototypes and I have to say I'm really excited about this product. I think it's going to be turn out awesome. One of the cool things about this design is that it's modular and you can get multiple units and they connect together. So also this week we're looking at the first iteration of that joint and how these pieces connect together, which is super interesting. So if you guys are interested in this type of content, design focused content, fabrication, definitely check out some of the other series uh, and videos I've got on my channel. If you wanna see more content about Hook Home, which is our flat pack furniture brand, head over to the other YouTube channel, the Hook Home channel, and there's a ton of stuff on there too, and we're posting on that very regularly. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so this is version two of the jig. Main difference being that we have all of these holes uh, in each part of the jig to make it easy for uh, the clamps to grab there so we didn't have to have huge pipe clamps. Uh, so it's a much easier glue up. We have the first pieces that have popped out, um, some better than others, but yeah, looking, looking great. So the next step now is to test out a joint system um, for these guys because I want this to be modular. So I want them to be able to stack um, so I want a discrete kind of foot and a system that like joins these together. So I have an idea of using some uh, biscuit joints as feet, but also as alignment pins. So I'm going to give that a go now and see how it works. Cool, so here is uh, you know, my idea for the alignment pins. Basically, just using these biscuit joints, um, they're called dominoes from a company uh, called Festool, which is an amazing sander and uh, tool company. But basically, I bore a pocket in here that's about six mil wide, and then I put in a five mil um, biscuit joint. And I, so I have a, a hole and then a biscuit joint and a hole and a biscuit joint and then mirror it on the other side. So they act as feet, but also when we go and stack it on top, this one doesn't have the holes yet, but they would slot into um, the U shape below because that would have corresponding holes and then you kind of sit in there and lock it into place. Obviously you can lift it off, but it's not going to slide anyway, so it kind of makes it safe. The set really consists of the small piece and the large u shape piece, and the idea is that they connect together. Originally I was going to have them like snap together, but we came up with this little dowel system where it's almost like a slide or a runner, and it just slides right in there, and it's actually like super strong, takes a lot of weight. Um, so we're fine-tuning this joint, I think it's like a nice little detail. In order for this joint to work, um, we have to create this half an inch pocket for the dowel right here, and obviously we have to do the same 
with this piece and then we glue the dowel in there. And I've kind of come up with a little jig to make that easier because we use a router um, and a small ball nose bit and that creates this pocket but we've kind of made this jig right here that uh, is designed to the size of this router. So this slips over the top, there's a slot in the bottom there and that slides on and then I would actually clamp this down to the side of the table just for stability but for the video I won't do that and then this slot right here is designed to the size of the router um, base and so basically we set the depth with the ball nose, we put the router here and we just go like that back and forth and it'll create that pocket nice and evenly every time and this jig works for the large one and the small one so that's how we do that. Here we are in our spray booth. We have sanded uh, one of the prototypes up to about 120 grit and now it's time to give this a clear coat. So we use water-based finishes here just because they're sustainable and we don't want to use any oil-based stuff. Um, we'll do one coat of a sealer and that really kind of seals all the grain and you know stops a top coat from absorbing in. So we'll do one coat of sealer, we'll let that dry overnight and then we'll do a top coat um, or a finish coat of probably a satin and it really brings out the color of the walnut. It'll become a much richer brown. It's pretty hard wearing, so it'll protect it for a, for a long, long time. So, let's fire up. So here are the first kind of full finished prototypes. I'm, I'm delighted with how they're turned out. This here is the set. Um, we've got the small U-shape and the larger one and then you can kind of see how they might combine together and then we've coupled that with this uh, dowel joint system or slider which allows you to pop the piece in here and then slide it in. So you can use them together or as separate pieces. So over here you can kind of see like start to think about if you group some of these pieces together in multiple sets you can create a lot more than a coffee table or a bench. Oh, whoops. So this guy can slot in here. And then we have that joint system that I was talking about where that can slide on the top. This one I use some metal locator pins. Um, which we decided to go with the biscuit joints instead because these were a little sharp. But here you can see it becomes like a really nice shelving unit. Um, and yeah, it's like super handy and the more of these you can get and put together, the more versatile they become. I, I briefly spoke about the metal uh, alignment pins that I used here in, in these two, but this is more along the lines of the system that we want to use. It's kind of a softer oblong uh, biscuit joint and a hole and the same in this one here. They just kind of line together and slot in there and slot in there and then that's the, the two of them kind of locked together nice and safe. What I've noticed is that um, during the bent lamination process, actually the opposite of what I thought um, was going to happen happened. I, I assumed that these would all kind of like spring back out a degree or two but it seems during the course of drying, they all kind of come in less than 90 to about like 89 degrees. So I think we're actually gonna have to make a third mold to get this right um, and splay out the mold slightly. So when they dry, they kind of contract and come into a fixed 90 degrees, but great progress. Uh, delighted with how it's coming on and uh, yeah, excited to get the final unit made. Hey, thank you for watching this week, guys. We've made huge progress. I'm super excited about this product. I think it could be really useful. So um, yeah, I haven't been this excited about a design in a while. 
So that's great. Be sure to check back in on the channel next week. We'll either have a new video up for this wood bending or I'm also working on the hook dining chair concurrently. So we'll have new stuff up all the time. So definitely check back in and thanks for watching.